these 10 days, some of the juices tasted like salt. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anthony Owusu. And today we're gonna be talking about my 10 day green juice cleanse. So I did a 10 day green juice cleanse and I used nothing to sweeten it except for green apple. So anytime I made any type of green drinks or any type of uh, green juices, the only thing that I would use to sweeten it if I wanted to sweeten it was green apples. So it was, um, it was an interesting cleanse. We're gonna be talking about why I did it, the cost of it, if I had any bowel movements, if I had any weight loss, what were the benefits of it? Green juices versus just regular juices, just the everyday juices that I used to do. Back when I lost 100 pounds on my 100 day juice cleanse, I mainly stuck to non-green juices. So we're gonna be talking about any differences between this green juice cleanse that I had for 10 days versus maybe when I wasn't so focused on green juices. We're also gonna be talking about whether I'm gonna do it again. We're also gonna be talking about how much I drank as well, cause I got a lot of those questions. How much did you drink? I'm always getting those type of questions. How much did you drink? How much this, how much that? So we're gonna be talking about that as well. To track my progress and also to get you guys involved and those that wanted to join me, I created reels. So I did 10 reels for the 10 days that I was juicing and I'm gonna leave that right here. I'm gonna leave it in a playlist. I created a playlist for it and I'm gonna put it right here for you guys. Why did I do this? What was the reason for this? You're already eating raw, you're already eating pretty clean, like really clean. It doesn't seem as if you need to do a cleanse, right? I think it's important for us to cleanse ourselves every once in a while, regardless of whatever diet you're on, whether you're eating the traditional or the standard American diet, whether you're eating meat, whether you're vegan, whatever type of diet you're on, I do think it's important for us to cleanse ourselves every once in a while, whether it's every three months or every six months or maybe once a year. It's really important to give our bodies that break. Just give your body, you know, a couple of days, a week or two, or even three weeks, or even if you can, a month, right? So just to give it a break to fix whatever it is that it needs to fix or just to work certain things out in your system and not focus so much on digesting or working so hard every single day. Every single day that we eat or every single time that we eat, our bodies tries to break down the food and tries to place the minerals and the different types of vitamins into different parts of our bodies so that our bodies can function and work. So every single day our bodies are working. If we sometimes need a break, whether it's we get the weekend off or whether it's going to bed at night or just going on vacation or a holiday, it is important for our bodies to also get that break. Just some time to itself so that it can fix whatever it needs to fix or come back you know, better. That's basically what I did it for, just to give my body that break and just to kind of relax it, clean itself out, fix whatever it needs to fix. Another reason why I did it was because although I'm eating raw, there's certain things that I can't control. I can't control the quality of the food, whether it be organic or not organic or just the environment. I'm fixing what I can, meaning that I can't fix the environment. So if there's pollution in the air or certain things that are affecting my body, I can't fix that. So the only thing that I can do is to just allow my body to maybe fix it for me. So the things that I cannot fix myself, I'll just allow my body to do it. And the way to get my body to do it is to give it the time so that it can actually fix itself because our bodies are capable of fixing a lot of things. And that's something that we don't realize that if we leave it alone, if we leave it to do whatever it needs to do, it's gonna fix it. It's gonna fix whatever it needs to fix so that I can function and run accordingly. Also, I eat a lot of raw desserts sometimes. Sometimes I go to restaurants and I'll, you know, I'll eat some of their raw foods, which might have a little bit of oil here and there, or just certain things that I typically wouldn't put in my food every single day, right? It's better than the standard American diet, but at the same time, it's not necessarily as clean as it can be, right? So cleansing gives me a chance to clean everything out that I can't control. So the cost of this cleanse, this 10 day cleanse was a little bit more expensive than I anticipated. I probably should have known that it was gonna be more expensive because of what I was juicing. Most greens, they don't have as much water content as let's say something like a watermelon or mango or other types of fruits. The only ones that seem to have more of that water content are like cucumber, celery. But apart from that, there aren't too many greens that 
have that water content. So the majority of my greens that I got were cucumbers and celery, but I would also, initially, I would also get kale, dandelion, other types of things, but you barely get any juice from that. So so the same amount of money that I'll probably spend to get one watermelon, which was like a huge size for like $7, that might be like, eight to 10 cucumbers, right? Which if you compare the size of a watermelon, how much juice you get from that compared to like 10 cucumbers, you're, you know, you're probably gonna get what, maybe one mason jar out of the cucumbers as opposed to the watermelon, you might get three or four mason jars or even five, depending on how big it is. In total, I'll probably spend maybe for the 10 days, maybe around 200 to, 275, 200 to 250, 275, somewhere around there. I believe that's how much I spent. And that's even me sometimes not buying organic. I couldn't really buy organic all the time because sometimes they didn't have organic. I probably would have spent close to a good four, $400 probably, just buying straight up organic with how much I needed to buy to sustain myself and to keep drinking and to stay full. How much did I drink? I always get this question, even with my 100 day juice cleanse. On average, I drank around the same amount that I did when I was doing my 100 day juice cleanse, which was around three 32 ounce mason jars. At the beginning, I'm usually drinking a lot more since everything is new and my body has been used to eating. So it takes me some time, maybe three days for me to get used to not having heavy items inside of my system. So on average, three 32 ounce mason jars. Sometimes I might drink four, sometimes I might drink five, especially in the beginning, I might drink five. Weight loss. So I didn't do this cleanse for that reason, but I did lose weight. I Before the cleanse, I was around maybe 194 to 196. That's where I used to be, the ballpark. The day of the cleanse, I weighed myself and I was 191. That's what I started the cleanse with. It could have been because I anticipated that I was gonna be cleansing. So maybe the day before I didn't eat as much. And so instead of maybe weighing around the 194 to 196 that I normally weigh, I started out around 190. 91 pounds. At the end of my cleanse, I weighed uh, around 182 pounds. So total, I lost close to 10 pounds, like nine pounds in 10 days, 10 pounds in 10 days, which is pretty crazy. That's basically a pound a, a day. A day after my cleanse, I was, I went down, which is weird. I went down to 178 pounds. You would think that after I ate, I would gain weight, but I actually dropped more. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Now, the reason why I think that happened is because during the cleanse, I wasn't really having any bowel movements like that. I wasn't really going number two. Out of the 10 days, I maybe had two or three max bowel movements. And that's going from having a bowel movement at least once a day to having two or three in a 10 day period. I think after my cleanse, the reason why I went from 182 to 178 was because after I ate, I actually had a bowel movement. When I actually ate something with fiber in it, it pushed it out, right? So that's probably why I went from 182 to 178. If you probably haven't been eating raw like I have for a year, your system might not be as clean. Even mine might still not be clean, but you're probably gonna have more bowel movements than I probably did in that 10 days. So just be prepared if you go through this, that sometimes you might have some bowel movements, sometimes you won't, or you'll probably have bowel movements every day or maybe multiple times a day. It just depends on what's in your system and what your body needs to clean out. Now let's talk about the benefits. So some of the benefits that I saw was that my palate was cleaner. I don't really remember how clean my palate was after the 100 day cleanse, but for it to just be 10 days, so for me to feel as if my palate was clean means that it actually did a really good job. Before this cleanse, I always heard that greens, if you felt as if you needed sodium or you wanted something salty to eat your greens, but I never really, I never really tasted the saltiness in greens. So I was like, what are people talking about? I never tasted the saltiness in celery. These 10 days, some of the juices tasted like salt. I was like, whoa. 
Like, what's going on? <laughs> it tasted like straight up salt. I was like, I was tasting everything. I was like, wow. Also, I now have an appreciation for greens. Before, I thought that I needed to sweeten it with pineapples or something else that was like super sweet to get my greens to taste sweet. I can actually say that after this cleanse that I have maybe one or two drinks that I think I actually love that are greens, right? And before I would have just been like, no, nah, I don't like my green juices. So so I think if for nothing else, this was a win in the sense that maybe I found two green juices that I actually enjoy that aren't super sweet. I think it's important to give your body a little bit of a break from constantly eating super, super sweet fruits. It's good to also eat a variety of different things. Cucumber, celery, green apple. That was a good combo right there. There was another combo that I was surprised with. Ooh, lettuce, cucumber, green apple. That, that was bomb. Lettuce basically tasting like nothing, kind of like a cucumber. It doesn't really have much of a taste. When you add the green apple to it, it just tastes like you're drinking green apple, but it cuts some of the sweetness out of the green apple a little bit. So the green apple won't be as sweet. It's funny that I'm describing green apple as sweet now <laughs> because at first I used to just think that it was just tart. I thought that it had no sweetness. I was like, why would people eat this apple? But after this cleanse now, I can see that compared to everything else that I was, uh, you know, eating or drinking, it tasted sweet. So now I consider green apples to be a little sweet, which I would have never considered that before. So lettuce cucumber green apple that's a fire combo if you haven't tried that you should give that a try now as far as differences that i noticed between green juices and non-green juices i would say that i get more energy out of non-green juices but it could also be because maybe i didn't drink as much as i needed to because of just the price of everything with the non-green juices i was able to get more juices or more out of my money which meant that i got more energy as opposed to now when things were a little bit more expensive so maybe i stopped myself sometimes from like over drinking which is the goal the goal is to always drink till you're full and i always felt full but maybe with the non-green juices because it was less costly. Maybe I drank a lot more, which meant that I got more energy. Juices like watermelon juice or juices that have a little bit more sugar, I felt as if I get more energy out of. But not to say that I was just like dead on the couch. I still worked out some of those days during my cleanse. So I still had energy. It just wasn't as much energy as I sometimes would get with the non-green juices. Now, would I do this again? I really think I would. Um, I might not do it for 10 days like I did this time. Might do it for maybe seven. Or maybe what I could do is maybe do it for seven and then maybe do the next three days with non-green juices or split it to five, five. Do five days of green juice and do five days of non-green juice or a mixture of that. I do think that it was costly. If I had an abundance of money, then yeah, I would do the 10 days every single time. I definitely do think that it was beneficial. I definitely, my palate feels cleaner. I found out that green apples actually do taste sweet. It's good to have a way to get your greens in without it being having a salad every single time. So I definitely would do it again. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you join me on these 10 days, let me know below. Let me know what you thought of it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.